This next picture is about Genesis 1 verse 3, where the light and dark are created and where the light is separated from the dark to create day and night. I'll show you a close-up in a moment of the surface. But even seeing it from here, you can see the splitting. And I feel it almost ought to come with a sound effect, almost a rip as day and night are pulled apart. See on this side, the stars as darkness is formed. And on this side, blue sky and light areas like clouds as the light pulls away from the darkness. There's gold paint within it, as I had within the Spirit of God hovering over the deep. Um, I wanted to just have that symbolism still there for God at work. This painting works in a variety of settings and would work well in a contemporary home or maybe in a newly refurbished church setting. These photos were taken before the picture was framed, but you can see it goes well on different backgrounds. I now have a frame on it and it really sets off nicely. The white going round the outside picks up the stars there. The frame's an inch deep and has a slight gutter mount all the way round the outside there. And it really sets it off nicely. I'm very pleased with the job the frame has done on that because it really works well with the dark side and on the light side. So, may I just remind you what the picture's about? It's Genesis 1 verse 3. And in the Bible it says, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. So that's my third painting, Genesis 1 verse 3, God separating light from dark.